Hey there, it's Emily, and I know we're coming at you with this week's Friday email just a little bit different than normal. It's not in written text. I'm coming at you via video because there's something I want to talk about, and it's alcohol this weekend. Now, we want to be smart about our alcohol intake. It's very easy to overdo on it, so I'm going to give you a quick couple fast uh, tips that you can realize and help institute this weekend. So with wine, wine is one of my drinks of choice, A, because it has the tannins in it. So tannins in wine are actually antioxidants, which can be very protective of the heart. So tannins are a really great thing. We love our wine. The drier the wine, so the less sweet that it is, the less sugar that's going to be in it. So the sweeter that it is, it's going to have a higher residual sugar content. It's going to might be a little bit cloudier. It's probably going to be a little bit lighter in color, but it's going to be higher in carbohydrates. Now, remember, alcohol gets digested as a fat. It does not get digested as a carbohydrate or a protein. It gets digested as a fat. So if you see a guy with a big beer belly or big beer belly, that's because all the beer that he's drinking is being digested and absorbed as fat. So we like to do those lighter options that are not too high in sugar because also if they're not high in sugar, they're not going to cause that hangover. Sugar can really contribute to that hangover problem. Remember to pace yourself and have about a glass or a bottle of water in between each drink that you have. One drink an hour is more than enough that you need. Remember women need or should have really no more than one drink a day, men no more than two, and no, you should not be stockpiling them up. But I know sometimes the wine gets flowing and you have a couple more. Just drink your water and be prepared. As far as with beer, we want to go with lighter beers, lagers. IPAs are going to be a little bit heavier. If you're going to do an IPA, I encourage you doing a New England IPA. It's going to be a lighter overall beer with still having that heavier taste and less calories overall. And lastly too, if you're doing hard liquor, see I'm over here with my uh, bar cart. If you're doing hard liquor, you want to mix with light to zero calorie sweet mixer. So last night we did a shot of prickly pear vodka with a half a shot of triple sec and then did the juice of a lemon, a juice of a lime, and then I did club soda. And that's it that was on there. It was a very light drink, but it was very satisfying and still tasted really sweet without adding any major amount of sugar or anything like that. We freshly squeezed, freshly juiced limes and lemons. So that's another easy thing too. You know, just pace yourself, be conscious of what you're having. Have fun this weekend. Just don't be silly. Have a wonderful weekend. Hope your week was successful and we'll talk soon.